to embed the forms inside your Schoology if your OneDrive connection isn't working the way that you would do that, or you can embed literally anything using iframe um, embed codes is you would go to, um, in this case, forms. And this is actually a documentation thing that I'm planning on using with my campus in case, you know, as I interact with people so I can keep track of what I need to follow up. Um, but the same, regardless of what kind of form you use, you go to share. This would just be the direct link where you could hyperlink text or add the link at the bottom, but this is the embed code. And so then you press copy. And when you go over to your um, Schoology account, you're gonna go ahead and press add page. And we go form. And this next part's the really important part. If you just put the code like this, it's not gonna work. You have to press over here where it says switch to HTML. And then when you paste it, and I'm gonna go ahead and always have it do display inline because it's just prettier that way, not having to click in. You'll see that da -da -da, the form shows up. And if that doesn't, um, if it's something's not working anytime you're trying to do the code, it might be because you're on visual. And if you were on visual instead with the iframe, oh, I think I took myself off of visual. Hold on. I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it's not right. Switch to HTML. Okay, there we go. So let me just delete that. I deleted it as the HTML and instead I was on my visual. So this right now is going to be switched over to visual. If you just pasted your embed code, this is what it's going to look like. So if this is what it looks like and it really should be embedded, um, what you're doing is you just have forgotten to switch it over to HTML. And it's like super easy and you can do that with Sways and Padlets and anything else. Um, you would have to go here and just delete what you've done before and repaste because the text got kind of warped. Um, so you can't like switch between the two. You actually have to re-embed.